Recent domestic and global economic challenges have negatively impacted our economy. It is important that we promote the AFCFTA efforts for all the key stakeholders such as industry, the private sector, academia, and government to reposition Ghana through trade. Madam Chairperson, when you consider the fact that trade between African countries remains low and currently stands at some 16% of our combined GDP, 16%, compared to other parts of the world, like the European Union, where trade between countries of the European Union accounts for 75% of their combined GDP. So when you see this difference, it is obvious that these very low levels of intra-regional trade cannot improve our prospects of bringing prosperity to our people. A large part of the growth and prosperity that we seek on the continent of Africa will come from us trading among ourselves. The coming into force of the AFCFTA means that Africa now has the world's largest free trade area since the formation of the World Trade Organization. The free trade area will cover a market of 1.2 billion people with a combined GDP of $3.4 trillion and across 54 member states of the African Union that have signed up to the agreement. The AFCFTA will provide the vehicle for us to trade among ourselves in a more modern and sophisticated manner it will offer a huge opportunity to exploit the abundant wealth and resources of our great continent for the benefit of our people. And it will give us protection in how to deal with other trading blocks. This vision can be better realized if we can leverage the trade and investment opportunities the AFCFTA presents. In order to maximize the benefits of the AFCFTA, the structural transformation of the economy has to be accelerated. We are still overly reliant on the production and export of raw materials and not sufficiently on the things that we make and grow. That is why government is firmly committed to addressing productive capacity issues through initiatives such as the One District, One Factory policy, the development of industries like the integrated bauxite and aluminum industry, the iron and steel industry, and the program for agricultural renewal and enhancement that we have dubbed planting for food and jobs. It is this transformation that will give us the best opportunity to derive maximum benefit from our abundant natural resources and from our participation in the AFCFTA and help bring progress and prosperity to our people fortified by the deliberate steps we are taking to educate our children to be more responsive 
to the needs of our 21st century world of work. School and conference should please return to Easter conference facility or to continue with proceedings for the day.